Today, I'm going to explain exactly how progesterone affects implantation, why you might have low progesterone, even if your doctor says you're fine, and most importantly, what you can do about it naturally. Let me explain what progesterone actually is and why it's so critical for fertility. Progesterone is a hormone produced primarily by the corpus luteum. That's the structure that forms in your ovary after you ovulate. It's produced during the second half of your cycle called the luteal phase. Here's what progesterone does. Number one, it prepares your uterine lining for implantation. After ovulation, progesterone transforms your endometrium from a thin lining to a thick, nutritious, blood vessel rich environment that can support an embryo. Think of it like preparing a bed for a guest. You don't just throw a sheet on a mattress, you add layers, pillows, blankets, make it cozy and welcoming and warm. That's what progesterone does for your uterine lining. Number two, it supports implantation. When an embryo arrives in your uterus, progesterone helps burrow it into the lining and establish a connection with your blood supply. Number three, it maintains early pregnancy. Once you conceive, progesterone prevents your uterus from contracting and shedding its lining. It's literally holding your pregnancy in place until the placenta takes over around 10-ish weeks. Number four, it supports immune function. Progesterone helps modulate your immune system so it doesn't reject the embryo as a foreign tissue. Now, here's what happens when progesterone is low. Your uterine lining doesn't develop adequately. It might be too thin, not receptive enough, or lack the proper structure. This is called a luteal phase defect. When this happens, an embryo either can't implant at all, or it implants but doesn't have the support that it needs to survive. This results in either a negative pregnancy test or a chemical pregnancy, where you get a brief positive test, but then start bleeding because the pregnancy couldn't be maintained. I had a patient, let's call her Maria, who came to me after six early losses. Six times she got excited seeing a positive pregnancy test, and six times she miscarried within days. It was heartbreaking. When we tested her progesterone comprehensively throughout her luteal phase, we discovered it was consistently low, peaking at an 8 nanograms per milliliter when we really want to see it at least at 10, but preferably at 15. And that's for optimal implantation. We addressed her progesterone naturally through the protocols that I'm going to share with you today. And we also used bioidentical progesterone supplementation. She got pregnant on her next cycle and carried to full term. She now has has a healthy two-year-old daughter. This is why progesterone matters. This is why we can't ignore it. 